Drama Rama, Anything Anything. Uh, pretty much just a straight up punk song. Um, fun thing about this song, it's just, you know, essentially one progression that you can just uh, rock through the whole thing. And uh, there's just a couple other like lead parts that come in. Um, but for just the main uh, progression here, pretty simple. Uh, we could start off with just a uh, E5 chord, like E power f uh, chord here. Okay. And basically the strumming on this, you want to hit it once, kind of hit like a d dead string. So it'd be something like, okay, so just a real quick. All right, and then we do uh, one more strum and then two quicker strums. So it'd be something like. You know, and you can keep this as loose as you want. You know, you just, uh, just as long as you get the timing of the changes down, that's fine. But uh, technically, you know, they're doing something along these lines. All right, and just pretty much strumming uh, each different chord that same way. Okay, so the first measure, we have that E, and then uh, the second half of that measure, it jumps up to the G power chord now, so on the third. And like I said, strumming the same way. Okay, so. Okay, and now up a set for the second uh, measure here with the C power chord. Okay, and then we finish it off with the D power chord. All right, and half of that's pretty much the same. But now, uh, after we do our little dead string strum there, uh, we come up and we kind of play a fuller chord now. Okay, but we want to hit it with the uh, pinky here on the eighth fret of the B so that we get that D suspended four. Okay, and then just one strum on that and then just bring it right back to like a, a regular D. Okay, so that D part would be. Okay, it's just a subtle little thing they throw in there. All right, so then just to put that uh, full progression together now, be something like. All right, and then we'll get uh, our lead riff coming in over the top of it. Um, and this is pretty simple. It's just kind of a back and forth and with a little adjustment there. Uh, the first measure of it, we're just doing three on the high E here. We'll go three to two, three to two. Okay, simple enough. And then the second measure of it, we do the three, two. And then we do three to five. Okay, it's just this cool little like ostinato medley that goes over the top of everything. Okay, and like I said, we can pretty much just ride, you know, all the uh, that progression all the way till the end. But uh, um, once we get to the very end, we get this uh, cool little like outro, like Ben solo stuff going on. And uh, basically what it is, we come up to, we're just doing some of these like unison bends, I call them, where you, you know, you play two strings, bend one until it matches the other. Okay, where we're doing seven on the G, five on the B, and we just bend that, we hit them both together, we can just hit that uh, seven, bend it twice. Okay, so... Okay, and then we bring that all the way up to... Uh, 10 on the G, 8 on the B, do the same thing, bend that 10 twice. Okay, next measure, we shift down a set of strings where we're bending the 8 on the B while uh, fretting the 5 on the E. Same, just two bends there. Okay, and then we cap that off by coming up to 11 on the B, 8 on the E, and just bend that 11 once. Okay. So the first half there. All right. And then from there, it just kind of shifts a little bit, keeps going. Okay, we come down a fret now where, we're, where we left off. So we're bending on the 10 of the B, fretting the 7E, 
Uh, bend that twice. Bring it up to 13B, 10E, twice on that. Okay, come up to 15B, 12E, and then here, uh, it's the last measure, and we just bend this three times. Okay, so the last half there. All right, and let's put it all together for you. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tabletry books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.